This is a follow-up video to the Arctic Air personal space cooler that I made a review of a few weeks back. Keep watching and I'll show you how you don't have to spend $20 on a replacement filter. If you find any of my video useful, please let me know and hit the like or subscribe. I really appreciate that. Like all popular products, the Arctic Air attracts some negativity too. The most common and unfair observation being said is that it doesn't cool a room. It's not supposed to replace an air conditioning unit. It's just over six inches cubed. No one ever claimed it to be a room cooler. It's advertised as a personal space cooler. So it's not gonna cool a room, nor will it make you a sandwich or wash your car, but you can't fix stupid. So some people are complaining about that one. It makes a great low powered and compact alternative to a desk fan. A desk fan can be cumbersome, unbalanced and generally in the way. This tiny unit has kept me cooler. It sits on my desktop, taking up hardly no space at all. First, let's take a look at how it works. Water goes in here and collects in a tray at the bottom. The water is absorbed by the feet of the filter material. This causes an evaporative cooling effect. The simple fan at the rear of the Arctic air then pushes this cooler air towards you, which can be directed by the grill. Evaporative cooling is the same principle as how our bodies naturally cool us when we sweat. As the moisture is evaporated into the air, it takes the heat away with it in the process. Some tests I've seen include people measuring the temperature at the back compared to what comes out of the front and then making misguided conclusions. What comes out the front is of course cooler, but some people show how it's only a few degrees cooler. This is true, but what's being missed is the fact that it's not pushing the same dry air at you. The air is both A, cooled and B, moistened. And the fact that the air is moistened adds to the effect of cooling you, again through the process of evaporative cooling, or effectively making you feel or giving you the equivalent cooling of a much greater drop in temperature difference than what's recorded in those tests. We had a heat wave this year in the UK and this unit has been running almost all day every day and next to my bedside at night to allow me to get some sleep. Some people are reporting or claiming that you have to replace the filter as often as every two months. The instructions say six months. Well, I feel it still cools just as good as it did two months ago. However, you may more likely be motivated to replace your filter early when it starts to smell a bit fishy. I see replacement filters advertised at around $19.99. I'm going to show you how you can restore your Arctic Air filter and spend potentially nothing. What you need is some simple white distilled vinegar, which you might already have or you can buy for a few pennies. Pour one to four parts vinegar to water. I've made my concentration too strong here. Allow the unit to go through a full cycle, emptying the reservoir, and this will completely deodorize your filter. The vinegar smell goes away after a day or less. And by the way, if there's some high explosives vinegar somehow, somewhere that I don't know about, don't blame me if this ruins your day. I'm just showing you what I did. I don't see the manufacturers recommending this, but they want to sell you a filter, right? One last tip. Some people complain about the $40 price point. These things, from what I can tell, all originate from China. Some top retailers appear to be getting the boxes branded with their logo under some kind of licensing deal, maybe, where they promote it as their own product. I believe if you shop around online and or wait a little longer for overseas delivery, you can get one for more like the $20 price point or even as little as $7 if you buy like hundreds of them wholesale. See ya.